The Atlas Post. Trump's unemployment program pays up to $1,800 or $2,400 in extra benefits to workers who qualify. If you're listening to this video, I'm curious, are you receiving the extra supplemental unemployment benefits? What state are you from and how much? If you are receiving unemployment or know someone that is, share this video with them. Most of all, subscribe. Yes, subscribe for the latest updates. We are having a drive to subscribe to increase the number of subscribers by 15% by the end of September. And yes, we will bring you the latest information when it comes to unemployment benefits, PPP loans, if there are any more, or anything regarding the mm -hmm. stimulus, and of course, personal finance. And when you stay till the end, there's a bonus for people waiting for unemployment benefits. The House and Senate are back in session and we're still waiting for a stimulus package. It now seems unlikely for a stimulus deal until after the election as it seems we are still at a stalemate as both parties are very far apart from each other. Well, remember that $400 weekly federal unemployment we thought we were getting? Most unemployed workers will now be receiving up to $1,800 or maybe even $2,400 in supplemental unemployment benefits. Some states have already started, but the others won't be issuing the additional benefits until the late September or October. It may appear in your account as one lump sum as states are playing catch up, but it depends on how each state is administering the benefit. The Lost Wages Assistance Program was created last month by President Trump when he signed an executive order for FEMA or the Federal Emergency Management Agency with funds to be used for unemployment benefits. When Trump signed the executive order for $400 per week, individual states were providing $100 of the $400. Since then, most of the states have planned to send out only $300 per week as their state funds are tapped. The supplemental weekly unemployment was to fill in the gap from the $600 weekly federal unemployment benefits previously provided by the CARES Act, which expired at the end of July. Originally intended to be only for three weeks, the Lost Wages Assistance Program has now been expanded to, mo to last up to six weeks from the week ending August 1st, 2020. And since it's already September 12th, these benefits are through today's date. Most states will be sending out $300 per week for a total of $1,800 in supplemental unemployment benefits. But a few states, Kentucky, Montana, and West Virginia, are adding an extra $100 for a total of $400 per week or a total of $2,400 in supplemental unemployment benefits. If you look at this picture by CNBC, it shows states paying the lost wages assistance. Most of the states, like I said, are paying $300 per week, but there are a few states paying $400 per week, which are Kentucky, Montana, and West Virginia. So the states that are in yellow are, of course, the ones that are paying. The ones that are in blue are not. Any of the states that were paying need, needed to have applied by September 10th. Similar to what has been happening on previous payments for unemployment benefits, if you have a debit card, you'll receive it on your unemployment debit card. And if you're receiving your benefits by check, you'll receive a separate check. Additional claimants still need to certify eligibility that their joblessness is COVID-19 related and will be notified by the EDD or Employment Development Department starting September 15th of the need to do so. The questions that EDD will be asking you are things such as what reason or reasons best describes how your unemployment, partial unemployment, or inability or unavailability to work was caused by the COVID-19 public health emergency. My place of employment is closed as a direct result of COVID-19. I had to quit my job as a direct result of COVID-19. I'm unable to reach my employment or my place of employment because of a quarantine imposed as, as a direct result of the COVID-19 public health emergency. And this may apply if you cannot reach your workplace because of a state or municipal order restricting travel to combat the spread of COVID-19, such as a stay at home or shelter in place order. I am unable to reach my place of employment because I have been, I have been advised by health care provider to self quarantine due to concerns related to COVID-19. A child or other person in my household for whom I have primary caring caregiving responsibility is un unable to attend so school or another facility that is closed as a direct result of the COVID-19 public health emergency and the school or facility care is required for me to work. Next, I am an un independent contractor with reportable income who is unemployed, partially unemployed, 
or unable or unavailable to work because of the COVID-19 public health emergency has severely limited my ability to continue performing my customary work activities and I have been forced to suspend such activities. Next, I have been diagnosed with COVID-19 or I am experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 and am seeking a medical diagnosis. A member of my household has been diagnosed with COVID-19. I am providing care for a family member or member of my household who has been diagnosed with COVID-19. I was scheduled to start employment and do not have a job or am unable to reach the job as a direct result of the COVID-19 public health emergency. I have become the breadwinner or major financial support for my household because of the, the head of my household has passed away as a direct result of COVID-19 or I am unemployed or partially unemployed for another reason not related to COVID-19. And they have this big line underneath it, which is or. So anyway, those are your questions. Actually, that's something new because I hadn't even planned on sharing that with you. Then the next part is, here's your bonus, is I have heard that unemployment offices are opening, but the best way to speak to a live person is call 800-480-3287 Press the number three, then two, then one, then zero. Wait for the next prompt before entering each number. And once you enter these numbers, the system will confirm that you are about to be connected to a live customer service representative. And there are also live agents available from 8 a.m. to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Now, of course, that's PST or Pacific Standard Time in California. But probably is 8 to 12 noon in your local states too. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting the Atlas Post and supporting our channel and coming to listen to our videos, comment, follow, subscribe. Thank you for all of it. But most of all, thank you for supporting us on Patreon or on Buy Me A Coffee. And please share this with someone it can help. And most of all, thanks for joining us at the Atlas Post and have a great weekend.